the church in Rome is hearing this letter read, sitting in a group like this, and it could be that there is an actual divide in the room. The weak are sitting on this side, the strong are sitting on this side. They're actually divided. And so the person who would have been reading this letter and teaching this letter could have been actually looking at those who kind of sat on the weak side of the room and then looking at those who sit on the strong side of the room. And he says here to the strong, we who are strong. Sorry, I labeled you guys weak in the way that I just did that. We who are strong, right, ought to bear with the failings of the weak. Now, that might sound demeaning. It it might sound as though those who are strong are thinking to themselves, like, you know, stinking weak people, right? They've got their religious, ridiculous, religious restrictions. And Paul says we just have to put up with them. Ugh, like what a drag, right? Like, you might think that's what Paul is saying when he says, we who are strong ought to bear with the failings of the weak. And, and that word failing is really strong in Greek. It actually just means weakness. You need to bear with the weakness of the weak. But what Paul is really saying here isn't so much that you have to put up with those who are weak or those who think differently than you. What he's really trying to say here is what he says next. He says, we who are strong ought to bear with the failings of the weak and not please ourselves. That's the emphasis of what Paul is trying to say. Not please ourselves. Each of us should please our neighbors for their good to build them 